It's official, it's build off time. So join me in this video to check out who's building off, what we're building off, and all the details on my personal build here with the RS4 Sport 3 Creator Edition. Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and today we have a pretty special video. Now I did say build off. Yes, this is going to be a build off series with a few other YouTubers out there with the HPI RS4 Sport 3 Creator Edition. Yes, this is just basically kind of like a raw builder's kit. Uh, did I just say raw builder's kit? I think I did. Uh, inside of this box here, this is basically just a chassis. It's a blank slate for creators like myself and others to build something of their own. And that's what the Creator Edition is all about. So before we get into the unboxing of the Sport 3 Creator Edition, let's go ahead and go over some of the details of the build-off and who will be participating. Each week in February, we'll be having a new video coming out. First week, which you're seeing right now, is the unbox and show off some of the items that will be going into our build. Now, we have a choice to keep things hush-hush or divulge the information as we go throughout the build series. The second week, we'll be installing the electronics and kind of showing you the RS Sport 3 Creator Edition chassis and how it turned out overall. The third week, we'll be painting the body, detailing the body, and getting the wheels and tires and everything else into the build. And finally, the reveal will be on the fourth week in February, and that will basically show off the final product, how it turned out, and some driving footage of that vehicle. Participating in the build-off, we have Kyle St. Peter of Photo Guy RC. Mark Houlihan of Mustang Monthly Magazine. Good morning, everybody. Mark Houlihan here, Mustang Monthly Magazine. We are live once again, PG Customs and Bodies in Decatur, Texas, working on our 1967 Mustang Week to Wicked project. Greg Vogel of RC Driver. That HPI is so well known for it. Love the graphics on this box. Uh, but right here you can see comes with the batteries, comes with uh, everything you need to go and run this machine. And finally, Chris DeGraff of Hemistorm RC. You know that I'm not uh, that much of a carport fetishist. Uh, it's ready to run four wheel drive, 2.4 gigahertz. If you haven't already done so, please check out their channels and subscribe so you can follow along the build off and see who the real winner is. So before we get into the unboxing of the Creator Edition, what the hell is an RS4 Sport 3? Well, it's actually one of these. Yes, the Ken Block Unicorn was based on the Sport 3, the RS4. I've had this one for a little while now and haven't actually even driven it because I love just looking at it. Been watching some of the Gymkhana files on Amazon Prime. And it's just a cool item to have around the shop here and just admire the beauty of that body. All right, so let's unbox this thing. Got my knife. Let's cut that seal up. Now, I guess what I really like about these creator editions, and there's been a couple of them that have hit the market now, kind of in the scale world, but the creator edition really lets you do what you want uh, with the car. And so you just basically get the chassis right here. No electronics, no body, no wheels and tires. You can customize it the exact way you want. Maybe you want to replicate a famous car that's out there or maybe your car that's sitting in the driveway. So let's open this thing up, see what we get. Ah, this thing's ready to go. Before we get to the star of the show, the Creator Edition chassis, let's take a look at some of the supplement items that come inside the box. So right here, a bag of parts, including the front bumper, which is that huge foam piece back there. We also have a bunch of supplement and additional steering items, maybe some spare parts. I'll have to read more into that a little bit later. Looks like we do have a, a servo saver 
uh, piece in there and some servo mount options, some double-sided tape. We also have all of the body mounts in here as well as a bunch of body clips so you can adjust your body to whatever your desired height is and it'll take care of most of the one-tenth scale touring or drift style bodies out there. Next, a smaller bag with some additional parts as well, some extra turnbuckles, some spacers. I also see some one-hole pistons in there and some additional tools just to get you going on day one, just a few Allens and of course a T-wrench. Finally, the RS4 Sport 3 Creator Edition Owner's Manual. This will get you all up and going as far as installing the electronics, just how to do that. Um, they've pretty much built this thing 80%. You have to add in your electronics and of course, paint your body, add your wheels and tires, throw in a battery, you're ready to go. On the flip side over here, we do have some decals highlighting the Sport 3 and some other logos here from HPI, of course, and a small little antenna just to finish off the build. And the chassis. Now, this is kind of what's called as an 80% roller. 80% of it's been built up. You just have to add in body mounts, the bumper, and of course, all of your electronics to get you going. Also, the wheel hexes were included in there, so you'll have to add those on as well. And it's pretty much ready to go. Now, some of the features of this thing, of course, uh, some very nice shocks up here. These are plastic body, plastic caps, but in a touring or drift car, that's actually not bad. Uh, these things are stiction free i can say uh, very nice non-adjustable turnbuckles but there are options out there for adjustable turnbuckles if you so wish down the line here we do have the battery compartment will fit pretty much a 2s stick pack or 3s if you'd like to run that you do have a little spacer right here that you can add either to the front or the rear to give you different weight bias of your vehicle. Flipping it onto this side right here we do have a radio box up here not sure if this is waterproof i'll have to read more on that later we do have a cast metal motor mount, which is pretty nice. It has a little belly right here for the size of can that you'll run. I'm gonna be running a 540 sized can. And as we flip it to the underside right here, we have full access to that drive shaft from the underside, all using hex hardware throughout. No Phillips on this thing. This thing was done pretty nicely. Well guys, that's it. That is my build off for week one. I can't wait to get this thing going because honestly, I don't even know what direction I'm going right now. Not sure if I'm gonna make it into a drift car or into a grip car. We'll have to see how that goes. Now, as far as things that I'm a little bit worried about, now I am a little bit worried about the weather. So right now it's been raining in Southern California. So it's gonna be kind of hard to get this thing up and running, especially if it's raining. I have some pretty cool electronics that are not waterproof. So we'll have to see how that goes. Now, other things I'm worried about, I'm going up against Chris DeGraff from Hemistorm. Rooftop paint shop. The god of all gods of painting bodies. The rest we're gonna film it stickers. I hate stickers. I'm worried. Uh, this guy could give me a little bit of trouble, so we'll have to see. Maybe we'll have to tie one arm behind his back and give him maybe a couple of Sharpies and some expired liquid mask. We'll have to see how that all goes. But I can pretty much hold my own on billing a damn cool car. Well, guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over now.